we've seen on our previous lesson what is the um, uh, composition of a, a basic XHTML page. Now let's take a closer look to uh, the code behind it and try to analyze what did we actually seen. Select your index.html file which is located in your training XHTML CSS folder. Stop folder 03 XHTML tag syntax. <coughs> right click on it and edit with notepad. Okay, so the tag which we are going to talk about is title. Okay, you will also be needing uh, the XHTML underline syntax.png file. So go ahead and open it. I have already opened it here. Now, let's see uh, how all elements uh, form together or uh, one. Uh, XHTML element, okay? Because all of these, in the end, everything will be called as an element. Therefore, the first one, we have uh, left anchor bracket, we have title, which is the name of the tag, this one, and we have a right angle bracket. This is how we define the start uh, tag of an element. If we look at the end of the complete element, we have an end tag, which is composed out of one left ankle bracket, a slash, the title, which is basically the name of the tag, and a right ankle bracket. All these four elements together form the end tag and <coughs> in between these two tags it is the content that is actually uh, it's a simple text in, in the title case we're going to see that most of the tags that usually output um, a text have a uh, start and an end tag and of course a content which is the text now all of these three together form an element so a start tag a content and an end tag form an element now if we're going back to our code we're going to see here that we have the title which has the left anchor bracket then the name of the tag, okay, which is title, then we have right ankle bracket, all of these together form a star tag, then we have the content, which is the text that appears here as title of the page and in the top part of the chrome area of the browser, and of course the end tag of the title. But why exactly do we need an end tag? Well, basically, <coughs> we have to tell uh, to the browser where it ends. Basically, if I do this, I delete it, save it, go back to the browser and refresh, I get an error. Obviously, the code is not correct. The browser does not know exactly where the tag ends, therefore, he does not know how to treat uh, uh, the code in this case and unfortunately it resolved within an error but we're just going to place back the end tag the end uh, tag we're going back to the browser refresh no I'm sorry I forgot to save that's something well, why it's not working? It should work. Something is wrong here. <laughs> no problem. Well, we'll fix that in a second. Well, in case if you cannot go back, always you can uh, open the file again. I uh, see it's nice because you also get to see uh, <laughs> different type of errors. Well. If you are really thinking to <laughs> seriously go into this business, 
really have to cope also with errors. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I also myself watch a lot of training uh, during their years and uh, you can actually see when people are cutting off uh, errors they're always trying to be perfect and I don't think it's the way it works. I think it's always best to also see the errors. Okay, so the page now works again, okay? So if you get the error, close the page and reopen it. Of course, uh, we also have uh, other types of tags like P and then some text, okay? Now, if I'm going to save it and refresh, we have it here, some text. And it works just the same way as title, only uh, it has uh, other purpose and it's contained by the body element, which has a star tag and an end tag. So the most important thing is to remember this um, scheme that we have here. Use it whenever possible. There's the problem. You have it there. If there's some kind of error, you don't know where is it, consult the, the image and see where you have mistaken. Most of the times uh, people forgot to close the end tag and to put a slash in. Uh, it's a common mistake. But anyway, now you understand uh, how an element is composed, what is a tag, what it is a star tag and an end tag, and what is the content of a tag in general. With all this knowledge now we can go forward and really actually starting to play with the tags and see how they can help us uh, make our website in the end. Okay.